Right here, we are in the Muslim Center in Lagos State for the Women in Energy Network uh, breakfast session with a topic uh, bridging the energy gap. These women are coming together to form a consortium of how they can begin to be a force to be reckoned with in the energy sector. All the other forms of energy. So as a, as a women network, we'd like to put our energy behind this and begin to come up and discuss the mandatory initiatives that need to occur for our country and our continent to close the energy gap. So during this um, breakfast session, we were having women and a man who understand that space to talk about some of these initiatives. I mean, the oil price is not very good, so people are not going to be talking about gas, really, except we really push it. So we want to push it today and the, the rest of the week and the rest of the time that we are together. And there are women associations out there. I know a lot of us here aren't part of those associations because we're looking for something more focused. Not that they're not serious associations out there, but we're looking for something more focused so that we can share our experiences in the same space. So we set out to establish the Women in Energy Network. It's a non-political, it's a not-for-profit association, and it's established in 2020. And we're providing a platform for women to work across the energy sector and the energy value chain. Energy outlook. Opportunities that exist in the oil and gas industry to close the energy gap. Encouraging women to collaborate and be the best they can be amongst many others are the topics treated by the invited speakers who are also players in the industry. So energy demand continues to grow. It's just a natural course of human existence because energy is about life and about raising our standard. So we can expect that as the world's population continues to grow, that demand will continue to grow. Technology is the key. Technology is the key to getting access to affordable forms of energy, to cost-efficient, effective forms of energy, to safe energy, technology is going to be the key. And how do we get there? We need to unlock innovation. So I'm not coming here to tell you about how you're going to make money in oil and gas. I'm coming here to tell you that it's important we begin to watch each other's back. You know the boys are nocturnal. They wake up at 1 a.m., get, get into your kitchen and start eating. That's how they do. They all get together at 1 a.m. and start having meetings and coming up with strategies of what they're going to do the next day. And we're busy sleeping. All right. We don't know how to wake up at night, but we can wake up during the day. Can't we? So let's get together during the day, find time and get together and come up with strategies to explore those opportunities. It is important that we learn to take each other's hands. Virtual pipeline distribution. I see that as an opportunity as we emerge. We all hear about how the pipelines are being vandalized on a daily basis um, and a lot of oil and gas companies lose significant amount of money because you put in 100 barrels at one end of the pipe and 20 barrels come out at the other side. And the question is, just like um, the last children are trying to find out how to run the car and water, are there other means of transporting our crude oil from point A to point B? There are people that are thinking of various things right now, but the women in the room with the experience that we, can, we have, we can pull together and be in the front of that discussion of how we can you know, bring in alternative sources of transporting our oil from point A to point B. Our respected women in energy network, I am happy to inform you that we are on course on our mandate to make 2020 year of gas in Nigeria. We want to ensure that the majority of Nigerians embrace gas for cooking, running generators, and others. Matter of fact, our Minister of State said, after some time, 
PMS will crash to 95 Naira per liter. <laughs> we want to incentivize our manufacturers on utilization of gas and discourage mass exodus to neighboring countries. Manufacturing Association of Nigeria they have come to us several times. My ability to Ghana, my ability to Ivory Coast. Why? Because the price of gas has uh, issued the roof. But we are targeting that. We want to make it convenient for Nigerian manufacturers. And that one will be done within the next three months. I don't think many people in this room can spell the word, let alone practice it. And I say that unkindly. What I see are individual CEOs who want to own, run, and manage their own business. And when it comes to collaboration, it's okay if you're on top. It's okay if I'm the lead. I spoke to collaboration with many, many people. And it's always the person, yes, I'll lead the collaboration, Anthony. I'll take the top position, and if that person works for me, I'm happy to collaborate. And it's very, very difficult here. It's something really to consider. And I think female leaders perhaps have a better chance than the rest of the industry. Next slide. Um, for those of you who can see the slide, madam, you may wish to see this one. Don't inform me, please. It says up here, who says the other room can't mean the boardroom? We are looking forward to assisting you in your endeavors. Networking, conversation, synergizing to a more equal and inclusive growth. Increased innovation and productivity, as well as improved corporate image for companies. I have every conviction that the outcome of this meeting will be beneficial not only to the women folk in energy network, but to the larger society and as a whole to the nation. Um, the few things that uh, I would like to share with supply diversity, um, some of the speakers talked about understanding the market. Don't just go to the low hanging fruit and tell yourself, I want to go into small scale. Well, you can go into small scale, but you should also know that there are thousands of people that believe they can do the same things too. So in the oil and gas industry, there are different categories from low, medium, high, complex services. The question is, where do you really want to play? And who do you have that you can play with? After the speakers, there was also a panel session where more issues were addressed as regards energy gap, usage and opportunities in Nigeria. The key thing really is to be solution-minded. So you identify what the challenges are in our space and think about innovation that you can bring to the table. What I'd like to see is women getting together to have strategy sessions and looking, for instance, at the energy space. What are the things that we can do to ensure that maybe a particular type of customer, for instance, is able to meet the energy needs? I met a lady the other day who told me that she runs a coal chain operation and she has very high electricity demands and she's tired of running on generators, so she's looking for solutions. So we can actually have strategy sessions where we sit down with those sorts of opportunities and come up with something that we can then take to the market and build our own businesses. And that is a very broad spectrum. So. Um, Elo talked about a lot of places where we can play in bringing that energy to people. Whether it is cooking gas, whether it is um, figuring out different partnerships to work in um, such that we are, we are actually able to provide a solution. At the end of the day, people who make, who make anything of themselves are people who provide solutions. This is quite sensitive. But I think most importantly is knowing who you are as a female leader and ensuring that you maintain that style, that essence of who you are when you get there. Because this world will be run by women one day soon. And when you get there, please remember us as we're in service of you in the future, us men. 
Um, yeah, it, this is an event that has been long coming. It's a very welcome event and as you well know, every one of us, every human being is a product of a woman. And um, with about half the population being, as it were, excluded, it, it will be will be hard put as a nation to achieving our goals in competing with the advanced world and all of that. It's a laudable project. We can never have too many of such meetings. We need this because we need to increase awareness. We need to increase uh, learning and uh, we need to increase networking because we need to collaborate more. So this is a fantastic initiative and I know it will continue. We'll make it work. We've had different sessions. We've had a lot of speakers from different companies, oil and gas companies, even from the power uh, sector as well. And we've also had the panel session where salient issues were discussed about uh, the opportunities therein in the oil and gas sector. And from uh, Muson Center, I'm Gideon Tobilaba. Bye.